I'm here with Isaac Hoffman in his gear closet. Haha, <laughs> yep. Uh, these are the trekking poles I used when I was in China. So I wanted to talk with you about your recent Shasta climb. Cool, yeah, let's talk about Shasta, man. In your experience, what are the top dangers there up on Mount Shasta? I would say rockfall is the top danger. And uh, easy way to stay ahead of that is to get an alpine start. The sooner the better with your alpine start. Uh, I started at a quarter to midnight and uh, that means it's colder. And when it's colder, uh, when it's colder up there, you'll have less rockfall. Um, that gives you safer terrain to move across uh, when it's a bit colder too. So yeah, super early, sooner the better on that. Um, when you're climbing Avalanche Gulch, you will learn the reason why it's called Avalanche Gulch. Believe me, um, there is rockfall as you're going up as well as coming down. Um, getting ahead of that and starting early uh, will mean that you have a safer climbing trip. And who doesn't want that, you know? In your opinion, what is the crux of the climb? In other words, what was the hardest part? The crux, uh, definitely the 35 degree slope that makes up Avalanche Gulch. Um, that 35 degree angle seems straight up and down at times. And I would say it's the um, 35 degree angle, the part of Avalanche Gulch that's between Helen Lake and the before the Red Banks, before you get up to the Red Banks. That right there is the crux. Um, and I would say and remember that's the crux going up as well as coming down because you have to manage rockfall all the while. So um, don't uh, get ahead of yourself, you know, with thinking the hard part is just the climb up. I would say uh, remember that a lot of accidents happen on the way down. So um, be as safe as possible on the way down too. Would you consider this a good climb for beginners? No, I would say not. Uh, that mountain needs skill. You got to know how to self arrest. You got to know how to duck and cover and when to duck and cover, you know? <laughs> um, you got to have good climbing technique, definitely. And um, you got to have the right gear and know how to use it as well. You know, you can't just show up with uh, the Big Five Special and send it, dude. <laughs>